Today we're checking out some more Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1. Captain Star Trek Next Generation. Proceed to the Lorenz cluster and Ooh. investigate the disappearance of the USS Drake, which was in that system trying to unravel a mystery of its own. Ooh, trying to unravel a mystery. Indicated that all intelligent life on the planet Minos had disappeared. Look at this planet. So pretty. Okay, got a mystery, a disappearance. One of the final tests in advanced navigation at the academy provides the students with three options. Okay, right, I love the academy. Test, projected their options and offered one of his own. He's a smart aleck. Commander, weren't you offered the Drake? Yes. You gave up your own command? At the time, I thought it would be more advantageous to do a tour on the Enterprise. For real? Give up his own command? No signs of intelligent life forms. Vegetation and animal life only. What happened to all the people? War? Disease? A dissatisfied customer. He says with a smile. Natural disaster, even the most virulent plague, there are always survivors. Yeah. Justin, they just vanished? By How whom? From a planet with no people. Your senses indicated no intelligent life forms. Correct. Maybe sir. there's stupid life Something forms. Something has scanned our language banks and is hailing us. Ooh, this is freaky. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, greetings. Welcome to Minos, the arsenal of freedom. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS. If you need a little something special. Is this just a commercial? Here on Minos, where we live by the motto, peace through superior firepower. <laughs> okay, this isn't live, this is recorded. It is a recorded message, sir. Minos. Yeah. So lock on to my signal and be For a limited now. time only. We don't just provide weapons. Shut that off. We I hate commercials. I recommend a minimum compliment. Oh, I would have thought otherwise. We'll keep the first landing party small and mobile until I'm confident whatever killed the inhabitants of this planet isn't still down there. Okay. Very brave. That was a, an interesting little tidbit they gave us there about Riker giving up his own command to come work on the Enterprise. I wonder if that's the only time that will be mentioned. I want to know more. Why would he do that? These are the voyages of the Starship ba, 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 Enterprise. Ba, ba, ba. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. I'm getting excited. Oh boy, I love that more every time I hear it. Although there are no signs of intelligent life coming from this heavily forested planet, hmm. I'm far from certain that it is devoid of danger. Same. Picard. Energize. All right, away team. Riker, this is the bridge. We'll start a pattern search from this point. Keep this channel open. Aye, sir. And look alive, number one. Our communications are being monitored. By whom? There is no intelligent light. Question is, by what? Tritanian. It's melted. What could do that? I don't know. Whatever it was, it's beyond our technology. Over here. Beyond our technology? Wow. Is it a weapon? Looks like a weapon. Some We've sort never of... seen anything like this. It's undamaged. Laser beam. I'm monitoring the slight energy buildup. I'm not able to pinpoint the source. Give energy build up. Splitting up is not a good idea. Position, 10 meters. I will continue monitoring. She's new. See anything through here? The underbrush is too thick. They should have stayed together. I don't like this. Hello. Commander Riker. Oh my god, I thought it was like a copy of him. What the F? How are you, Commander Riker? Me? The leg Forget up. about me. What about you? No word, no message, nothing. How many are with you? There are She's two acting others. crazy. Where's, Where's your crew? Number one. A word. I don't know him, but he seems like he's acting crazy. Some information you should be aware of. Sensors indicate low-level energy readings, but the only life signs are the away team. You copy, number one. So he's not real? I was injured getting here. He looks... You need medical help? Like he's got the crazy eyes. What's your purpose? Sir, other than ourselves, I'm picking up no life signs here. I know. He knows? He seems like he knows what's going on. Tell me about your ship, Riker. It's the Enterprise, isn't it? No, the name of my ship is the Lollipop. I have no knowledge of that ship. Why is he lying? Who is here with you? What's the armament on the Lollipop? I will only answer your We're questions building. if you answer mine. Why do you want to know so much about my ship? Because he wants to destroy it. Please, it's important. Our survival depends on knowing. What's the armament on your ship? Don't give him any info. Ten. I don't understand. Ten what? You're just messing with him. You haven't used my first name once, Paul. You remember it, don't you? It's not really him. Because you don't exist. You're a fake. You're an image of the original, aren't you? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, blew it up. Is he all right? He's still got something around him. Is he alive? Unknown. Oh no. Commercial break. 
Aye, sir. And whatever All right, Jordy. Out there, your prime responsibility is to the ship. Understood, sir. Captain, Jordy I take got this. Exception to your decision to beam down. Noted. Noted. Uh, noted. Don't care. All right, Picard and Crusher, away team number two. Energize. Ba -ba -ba. Energize. And I cannot determine the risk to Commander Riker. We have little choice. Whatever has him is interrupting the transporter beam. Remove it. Can he? This will take some time, sir. Just get Wesley down here. He could probably do it fast. Oh, frig, oh, frig, oh, frig. What are these things? Just shoot me at the captain, are you kidding? Watch it, Crusher, watch it. Ah, uh, did they just fall in a hole? It just hurt. Is there chemistry between them? I know he's just trying to help this her, but... Different. I always feel like there's chemistry between them. They flirted when they were under the influence. <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry. We'll get you out of here. Enterprise, this is the captain. Two to beam up. Enterprise, come in. Data, Lieutenant Yar. Must be this blasted hole. I'm uh, sorry about this. <laughs> Hold on. Won't be long. He's so nice. I do think he cares about her. Well, he cares about all his crew, but... Oh, good. I want more Riker in this. I love Riker. He's so handsome. Get a lock on the away team and beam them up. Seals just came on. It's firing. It's firing? Excuse me? What? All right, well, shields are up. Battle That's good. Stations. Battle stations! We got Jordy in the captain's seat. Something dead astern. Emergency power dead astern. Optic is firing. Return fire! No use. It's gone again. What is it, the Romulans? Shields can't stand up to it much longer. For real? Chief Engineer Logan, are we breaking orbit? I they just got a skeleton crew here. Lock phasers on that thing and fire the moment it's in range. Locking it. The object has vanished. What is this object? She said the shield won't hold much longer. Whoa! Enterprise hasn't taken much damage in this show so far. This thing can win. We've got to break orbit now. Analyze its firing pattern. Maybe we can anticipate its location. Right. Lieutenant LaForge. I don't like this guy. He's making a power play right now in the middle of an attack. You're ignoring my greater rank and experience. Not at all. In fact, just the opposite. I'm counting on it. Now I need you to get back down to engineering and get me every available scrap of emergency power you can. Yeah, engineer the crap out of stuff. The longer we'll be able to hold out. He's, I don't, is he going to follow orders? Now, Mr. Logan. They cut away to Troy like she can tell what both of them are really feeling. I wonder if Jordy's as confident as he's letting on. It takes a lot to kill them. Well, kill, explode. It's got a deflector shield. The product oh, continues to upgrade and improve. Like, is it learning and getting better? Now! Go! Fire, fire! Look at him giving it the Death Star. Nice. But then now, next time one comes, do they need four beams? But I don't see any. Don't let her go hey. to sleep. She said just stay awake. No, you don't. Come on now. Stay awake. That's an order. <laughs> this is going to hurt a bit. I've heard that before. <laughs> hey, hey, don't, don't pass out. Stay awake. Come on. Just slaps her. <laughs> is there a color change? That's turning yellowish. Good. Now, spread as much of it as you can onto the wound. She doesn't look good. Do they have another doctor on board the Enterprise if they can get her up there? Or is she gonna have to surgery herself? Elevate the legs and try to keep her warm. Stay with me, doctor. You didn't happen to bring a blanket with you, did you? Use your body. Cuddle her. You keep up your end. Don't die. <laughs> It's weird seeing these new guys. I know it's risky, but shot in the dark is better than nothing. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. We can get lucky. These are all things you don't want to hear. Hopefully, maybe. Solus, bring her about to two, three, mark one, eight, five. Aye, right, sir. Jordy just in commanded the Enterprise right now. Did she even hit anything? They didn't miss. Back 
I'm just failing. Look She's forward. not as cool under pressure. This is Logan. Tell me something. Mr. Logan. Come on, Jordy. Report to the bridge. He's not going to put him in charge, is he? On my way. Bum, bum, bum. Come on, Shabay. You are leaving them on the planet. Speed warp five. Warp five. Aye. All right, we're warping away. The away team is screwed right now. Mr. Logan, you are going to take command. Uh-huh. Of the saucer section. Oh! Crew, report to the main bridge. He's gonna leave and go back for them. Yeah. Foster section and proceed immediately to Starbase 103. That's a good call. You can't fight what you can't see. And you still won't be able to see that thing. Maybe we won't have to. Risky. Yes. Mm hmm Ballsy. Come in. Yes, Troy, what are you thinking? She's been very quiet. But as counselor, I have a duty to evaluate the emotional fitness of the crew. And you sense I'm nervous. I'm about to take the ship into battle, and there's a good chance she'll be blasted out of the sky. And there are a lot of lives at stake, so yeah, I'm nervous. You should be proud of the way you're handling command. Oh. You've kept a cool head, taken charge, hmm? and made some very difficult decisions. Then what did you want to see me about? Just to say good job. It's very progressive that they would have a, a counselor role like that a, to be all about feelings on a ship like this. You know what I mean? I, I like that. They've, they've considered that humans have a lot of feelings that might bear weight on their actions here and they need to be managed. Separation complete. Engage. Engage. All right, yeah, let's go rescue the, the away team now. Crusher needs help. No exits. None that I can see. Except the hole you fell in. If you find one, go. Tired of my company already? <laughs> Never. Not those roots. How did you know of their medicinal values? My grandmother. She helped to colonize our Veda III. Did she survive? Yes. Once the medical supplies had run out, she had to use what was at hand. It's very useful. What? Oh, just a minute. Here's something odd. It's glowing. Careful now. It's clearing away the dirt. It's a view screen. It seems to still be operative. Stay awake. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, where are they? Uh oh, it's not one of those things, is it? Oh. Beautiful, isn't it? It's the centerpiece of the whole unit. This guy. Who's that? The salesman. The ultimate in weapon system technology. Is that what's behind the attack on my people? Impressive demonstration, isn't it? No. Demonstration? It tried to kill us. Neutralize ground personnel, even destroy enemy space vessels. Like the Enterprise? The Enterprise? Yeah. Where are its creators? Where are the people of Minos? Once unleashed, the unit is invincible. To kill the everyone? Perfect killing. Just killed everyone? The unit has analyzed its last attack and constructed a new, stronger, deadlier... On the other guys? It will launch that weapon against the targets on the surface. Abort it! Why would I want to do that? It can't demonstrate Just its say abilities you'll buy it. unless we let it leave the nest. Say you'll purchase it! Captain! Did you hear me? Yes, we're here! Dr. Crusher is seriously hurt! I can do it, Commander. Oh. Ow. Jump. Can he feel pain? I forget. Captain, Data's going to join you down there. Can he just throw them back up out guess. the hole? If his legs break... Oh. Could he just, like, pop them back on them? Data, that's your service guy. That was good. I mean, he's useful. And funny. Looks a little worried. You know your jobs. You've been trained. You've been tested. And you've earned the right to sit in those chairs. Nice! That's nice. This is probably the first time they've really done it for real, though. These things are evil. You got any ideas? Throw a rock at it. Give me some options, Data, quickly. Why don't you just shut it off? It's a machine, isn't yeah. it? Shut it off. Why? We've seen enough. Tell him you buy it. Does that mean you're going to buy it? Yes, yes, we've seen enough. You made a sale. You won't be sorry. Good. Now end the demonstration. Done. Now are they, like, forced to buy it? I knew it. Just had to buy it. It's great to hear your voice, Captain. Not everything is going well up here. All temperature 1,000 degrees from rising. Emergency power to the These guys are good. Velocity increasing. Good team. Flectors nearing overload. You got this, team. There he is. Scanners locked. Weapons locked. Fire. 
Fire, fire, fire! Shields down. Locked onto away team. Beaming them home now. And assume a standard orbit. Standard orbit. Nice. Ta -da. Relinquishing command, Captain. Tell him you did a good job. Mr. LaForge, when I left this ship, it was in one piece. I would appreciate your returning it to me in the same condition. It's gonna go take a nap. Course plotted and laid in. Look at him in the captain's chair. Engage. Yeah! <laughs> okay, guys, that was season one, episode 21, and that was a good one. Lots of action in that one. I really liked seeing Jordy have a chance being in command. Of course, I love Picard. I think he's a very good captain. I, you know, much love to Captain Kirk for all time, of course, but Picard is, is looking to me like a very good all-time great captain as well. And I also really like Riker as a leader, I think. But it was cool to see Jordy step up and he did a great job. And I liked that little moment with Troy. I, I feel like even these little episodes, I'm learning a little tiny bit more about each one. Even in this one, we saw just, you know, a couple of moments with the doctor to remind us that we don't really know that much about her. So I think they're kind of hinting that there's more to her. I like this one. It was cool to see Jordy in charge. I liked it. So I think we should check out the next one called Symbiosis. So let's get into it. Here we go. Season one, episode 22. Sun in the Dallas system is undergoing large scale magnetic field changes, producing Ooh. violent gigantic flares. Solar flares. We can expect communication interruptions as well as potential temporary loss of other systems. As a precaution, we are now going to yellow alert. Oh, definitely a bunch of stuff's going to go wrong. Half impulse. I serve one half impulse. Our main viewer. Look at the shot of our crew. Oh my god, I love it. Ask our <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. So beautiful. Is it messing with the shield? Wow. <laughs> is it just frying it? Uh-oh. This is the captain. We will be pushing the shields to the limit, but we are getting a splendid view of this phenomenon. <laughs> so it's all worth it. We have a serious problem here and can't seem to fix it. We need help. Open hailing frequencies. Yeah, let's hail someone. Unidentified freighter. This is the USS Enterprise. The coolest ship in the galaxy. Do something. We're going to burn up. Uh -oh. Space. Mm -hmm. These are the Voyager Starship Enterprise, where no one has gone before. Let's do it. The visual transmission is still breaking up. I have a question about Yar and the communications, but I want to pay attention. I have a question for later. Uh, I am no longer able to maintain this orbit, nor He's am I able captain? to use the main thruster. It's all, you know, dead, I guess. It's all shut down. Highly unusual. Freda, we're going to lock on the tractor beam and pull you out of orbit. Hey, that, that's great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of captain this is. I feel like, was he always the captain or is he just now the captain? Captain, we're beaming over a replacement coil. That's great. What that is with this guy? Yes, once it's installed. Right. How do we do that? What is with this guy? Maybe the exhaust fumes are getting to him. How long have you been in command of this freighter? Seven years. This is my what? 26th voyage to Brecker. Bull. And you don't know how to align a control coil. Never come up. Can anyone else over there do it? Hold on, I'll ask. I'll ask, I'll just ask around. Hold on one sec. He's so informal. Sorry, right. nobody here knows anything about it. <laughs> Uh, Captain, I strongly recommend against anyone from this ship beaming over. Yeah, I don't like this. The freighter has entered the planet's atmosphere. Disintegration is imminent. Let's get them off there. Tujon, stand by to beam over. You think that's best? Well, unless you have any other options. I feel like he's just like got a little disdain for this guy. Like, get it together over there, Captain. Captain Tujon, go to your transporter room. Contact me from there. But if you can't get us with your transporter, what makes you think ours will do the job? Just, just do it. Exit. I, I didn't know you could do that. Hurry! Oh we're my God! Out of time. What is with this guy? I don't think they're going to make it. Captain Dijon doesn't sound like he cares. No, he really doesn't. Is this a trap? Safe, sir. Eight, eight, six. Mark two, six, eight. <laughs> the temperature of the freighter is passing three thousand degrees. I feel so like this is a trick. One. We're establishing the lake right now. And they're idiots. No, sir. They stayed in the freighter, but they beamed over their cargo. 
Chicago. Those people are crazy. What could possibly be so important? Sir, the freighter is disintegrating. What is happening? Transporter room, you're out of time. Reading six life forms, but I can't get a solid lock. We have no choice. Energize. Yeah, I might as well try. All right, what is with you guys? I thought you said there were six. Where are the other two? The lock didn't hold. Reestablish. It's too late. They're what, they're dead? They're dead? I'm sorry we were unable to rescue the other two. We did everything we could. If you had come instead of sending your cargo, you all would have made it. This guy's the captain? You act as if it's more important than your comrades. Uh-huh. The cargo, may we see it? What are they, all drug addicts? This is drug cargo? That's little. I can't, I don't know what could be so important. Careful with your choice of words, Sijan. It's ours, not yours. We paid a fair price for it. Get them out of here. But the barrel stays. What is going on here? Damn you, Sylvie. What, 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 what? Stun them all. Behave yourselves, gentlemen. <laughs> or I shall have to phase you again. Escort our visitors to the observation lounge. A natural electrical charge? Formidable. Yes. Mm. And a difficult weapon to confiscate. Yeah. If it's in them. Everything we had went down with the sanction. Is this just some and kind of deal? it's going to be difficult to accommodate you. Solar flares increasing in magnitude, Captain. Shields are shaky, but they're holding. Maintain. You won't believe this. I find it strange that none of our visitors feels much remorse about the two freighter passengers who perished. I agree. Yes, let's spare call, get some answers. Number one, Mr. Data. Mr. LaForge, you have the bridge. Aye, sir. Jordy in charge. Our computer has downloaded the specifications for the magnetic coils the freighters depend on. Assuming the malfunction is similar, suitable replacements can be fabricated. What? What are they all not saying? Captain, you don't understand. This is a matter of life and death. How Why so? is that? Good question. Medicine. Our planet is in desperate need, Captain. We have people suffering from a lethal plague. The cargo you have impounded is the only hope of life for our people. Hmm. That single shipment of Felicium represents an enormous investment. We can't just give it away. We paid for it. We ask for only what is ours. So you're gonna have to choose? You disgust me! If you could see the suffering the plague has caused! You and Tujan carrying this plague. Is it contagious? Yes. And you may have brought it aboard this ship. Mm hmm And they were quarantined. Med alert. Medical emergency. Dr. Crusher to the observation lounge at once. Crusher, we have a sh situation. As far as I can tell, detect no dangerous virus or bacteria. I assure you, we're in perfect health. But we are not. We need our medicine. Do not disturb Crusher's work. Doctor. Captain, could I speak with you, please? In private? Not right now. Captain. Put your foot down. The Breckians show no sign of infection. The Narans show all the symptoms of a disease, but I can't find a cause. They're going to die. I need to check further. Well, they don't look well. Do you think that we're in any danger from this plague? Again, I need more time. We're losing our professional detachment, Doctor. Perhaps. But, Captain, I must tell you, I am developing a very active dislike for these Breckians. She wants the medicine. You must give us back our cargo. I can't do that. It belongs to us. We need some now. Now. I don't care if it's your decision. Get us some. Is this prime directive situation? They can't interfere. Understand the magnitude of the problem. Your people don't need it. The Breckians don't need it. Our people do. If you don't give it to us, you will be a party to murder. You definitely will feel guilty if that happens. Space mimosas. They're just having a fun old time over here. May I say, Captain, how impressed we are with your ship and all its facilities? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and give up crew. the medicine. I've come to seek your agreement to an Anaran request. We cannot agree. Wait, let the Captain speak. We want to be reasonable. They're gonna hear him and say no. We agree to permitting them two doses for immediate use. No charge. I'll let my medical officer handle it. I trust you won't mind if we're present while you open the cargo? I don't, I don't trust him. I don't like him. Crusher doesn't like him. I don't like him. What does that device do? This measures the individual portion. What's the dosage? 0 0.01 milliliters. 0 0.01? Potent substance. We've improved our distillation process over the years. This one barrel contains over 4 billion doses. I would estimate 4 billion 375 million. Thank you, Mr. Data. <laughs> I like data. It varies with the individual. 
but never more than 72 hours. And then the symptoms return, yes. Oh, they need to take it again. But Felicium inhibits the sickness with total efficiency. Allowing the Ornarans to lead normal lives. An unusual disease, extremely persistent, yet I can't isolate it. I feel like, is she accusing them of making the other guy sick or something? No doubt you have applied your technology from other industries to the refinement of this product. We have no other industry. The Ornarans provide us with everything we need in exchange for this. So to keep them sick would be in their interest. Exclusively to the production of a single product. A product for which you have no use, but which the Anarans cannot live without. Right. One of life's little ironies, Captain. I think they're making them sick. Mutually beneficial. The Anarans provide us with the necessities of life, and we provide them with the necessities of living. It is a fair exchange. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'll take that to sick bay. I think Crusher's onto them, and she knows it. Can I help? No. <laughs> Hurry up. Works that fast. Maybe it is like a drug. Maybe maybe they just have them hooked on drugs and they're just having withdrawal. I'm fine now. Crusher, Crusher, what do you think? She said there's symptoms, but there's no disease. Dijon and Romus are feeling fine. In fact, too fine. Felicium's a narcotic. And Dijon and Romus and everyone on their world is a drug addict. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm a medical officer. In any case, a trading situation developed would still exist. A nice arrangement for the Brecky. And for the Ornarans. Without the medicine, they would all die. No, they wouldn't. It's just withdrawal. The plague is irrelevant now. It doesn't exist. Then why are they so desperate for the Felicia? It's an addiction. The physical and psychological need is very real. What are you going to do? Everybody to rehab. An exploitation, a sufficient cause to, to do something? This situation has existed for a very long time. Societies are intertwined. And Doesn't want to interfere. Symbiotic. I can synthesize a non-addictive substitute which will ease their withdrawal symptoms. I can't do that either. You can't let them have the Felicium. It is not our mission to impose Federation or Earth values on any others in the galaxy. I guess. Well, in this case, Captain, I disagree. 100%. Ooh. She has put her foot down. I'm receiving a call from Ornara. He respects her, too. Are my people on board your ship? Some of them, yes. May I speak to them? They don't want them to have access to the bridge. That guy needs a fix. I will continue this in the guest quarters. Commander, Doctor. I wonder what Picard's gonna do. What I can't understand is why anyone would voluntarily become dependent on a chemical. On my home planet, there was so much poverty and violence that for some, the only escape is through drugs. I guess I just don't understand. Because you're a good kid, Wesley. Lieutenant Yar, we're ready in the guest quarters. I hope this show doesn't go off the rails and Wesley just ends up addicted to drugs. That would be bad. You see what happened? Well, why? Stop! I can't listen anymore! Dijon! There's so many people here! So much suffering! Help, Dijon. Please. Why won't Picard let her make a synthetic version? You would take us to our planet and leave us there with our medicine or this person dies. Oh, well, now you've done it. It doesn't matter whether we're entitled to it or not. We must have it. Let him go. You will take us there or give us a shuttle. But we must have the medicine. I will not be coerced. He will not be coerced. You're not a killer. That's a gamble. I'm not sure that I can. Uh, I don't know what he should do. Captain Picard, could I see you a moment? I'll stay here. Now they know the what the deal is, right? They know it's a narcotic. We both feel deeply about what is happening on Onara. And although it is going to cause hardship to us and to our people, we have decided to give the Felicium to them. They can pay whenever they're able. We don't want to be the ones responsible for their suffering. They just want to keep them addicted to it. They know that the Anarans no longer have the plague, because they don't want to take the chance that the Anarans will lose their addiction. Mm -hmm. Correct. My guess is that this refining process of which you are so proud is only to increase the potency of the Felicium and tighten your grip. What are you going to do? Are you going to tell them? Yes. No. I'm bound by the rules. If I were to tell them any of this, I would violate that prime directive. You are going to allow the Onarans to have the Felicium. 
Yes, I am. Is he really? No, deny them this shipment. It is the least we can do. From the moment they agreed to give them the Felicium, my hands were tied. You are absolutely right, Captain. It's not your business. Is that it, though? I feel like, is there something more that he's not saying? Captain, please. My planet is suffering. We beg you, give us our medicine. The matter is already decided. You're beaming down to your world with the Felicium. Great. Is he going to tell him? He said he wouldn't. That's terrific. I'm sure we can come to a fair deal. Picard's not going to let it end like this. In this situation, the Prime Directive prohibits me from helping you. That's mm. absurd. You did not think so when it worked in your favor. Do you want our world to suffer? Oh, no. We will die. No, we won't. There are other options. Ensign, prepare to be my guest and their cargo down to a night. I see. He's just going to let it play out. I hope you realize what you've done to us. Of that you can be sure. Good luck. <laughs> Well, I guess that's all he could do. The people of Anara will suffer horrible withdrawal pain. No doubt, but they will pass. That seems so cruel. We could have made their burden easier. Perhaps in the short term. To what end? Oh, elevator talk. The struggle is where you grow. It's hard to be philosophical when faced with suffering. Believe me, Beverly, there was only one decision. I just hope it was the right one. And we may never know. Resume. I trust Picard. I trust him. He's right. I have to get on board with this Prime Directive. He's right. He's right. He's right. But she's also... I, I appreciate her compassion. 318. Speed. Warp 3. Where will that take us? The Opera Line system. An interesting choice. Curiosity. You've never been there. Engage. Engage. Okay, guys, that was season one, episode 22. That one felt a little, like, a little preachy or something to me. It just, they were so explicit with that scene between Yar and Wesley talking about drugs, like explaining drugs to him. Like, I just felt like it was a little too on the nose there. Although I did enjoy thinking more about the Prime Directive. And this was sort of an interesting dilemma to be in for it. So that was good. I was quite amused at the start when they started interacting with the crew that we later find out is on drugs so it makes sense but like they were just so informal and all the crew looking at each other like what is with these guys i i found that highly amusing but i do think the prime directive is very interesting i would like to see more dilemmas dealing with it and i did like that crusher and picard were kind of at odds in this one which you also don't see that often there isn't that much like interpersonal drama i'm noticing between the crew they all get along pretty well which i love really i love them all and i love that they're like a big happy family and they never fight but I feel like there could be more between them. They could have more disagreements and we could learn more about them that way, probably. But yeah, this one was just sort of middle of the road for me. But coming next time, the last four episodes, I feel like it's going to be a very strong finish to the season. So I'm really, really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.